Hawaii Kilauea volcano latest, 490 plus quakes in the past month. The crater water pond is growing. We have deep quakes in the Pahala, south of Mauna Loa, east of Kilauea, and we have volcanic gas emissions. This is the latest today's report. The current alerts. We have the Kilauea activity is not erupting as we know, but it's not good that we have the water in the crater. They consider that it's water. They have not taken samples of it, but they call it water until something different shows up. Monitoring data continue to show steady rates of seismicity and ground deformation. This is concerning the, uh, this is from the uh, Hawaii Volcano Observatory. I'll leave links below for you for this. Ground deformation, low rates of sulfur dioxide emissions, only minor geologic changes since the end of last year's eruptive activity. Water continues to pond at the bottom of Halimamau inside the summit caldera. No current eruptions, but areas are of persistently elevated ground temperatures and minor release of gases are still found in the vicinity of the lower east rift zone. I'm going to see it on Null School how it is as well. Tremendous amount of uh, sulfur dioxide coming out. And this includes their steam, water, very, very small amounts of hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. Conditions are expected to be long term. Similar conditions following the 1955 ruptures. We're going to take a look at what's going on there ourselves. Um, Concerning the temperatures at Halimamau, September 17 reports at the water pond. The thermal camera shows surface temperatures on the water pond of approximately 70 degrees Celsius, that's 158 degrees Fahrenheit, similar to previous observations. The water level continues to slowly rise, but there were no significant changes observed during the visit on September 17. By These are images by M. Patrick of USGS. No major changes observed at the water pond, but it's still slowly growing. Now, as we're going to take a look at the map, you'll see that the area of Pahala, east of Kilauea, is this area here towards the magma plume, as you can see there, deep inside, where you don't have that many earthquakes taking place, but they are taking place there. Okay, most of the uh, Mauna Loa and Kilauea quakes are very shallow. Whereas the Pahala are totally different, they are much, much deeper and, and bigger as well. So let's take a look at that and we'll see how it's comparing to what happened before last year's eruption as well. Here we are at Sizewell Berkeley. I like this because you can quickly see the uh, activity. We're over Hawaii and uh, if we pull out, you'll see the activity worldwide and you'll see that most of the active, we've had some very big quakes, 6.2 here in uh, uh, Jakarta, Sumatra, sorry. Okay, this is Hawaii here, and look at this, this area here. Uh, we're having a tremendous amount of increase in activity in Alaska, and of course, West Coast, and that's the worst in the world, as you can see. We're told, we're, we've loaded all the past week's earthquakes. And as you can see, it's the worst in the world, as you can see, all right? Uh, now, it, for some reason, they're not including, uh, they seem to stop there. They're not including anything that can be going on in the, the north. That's okay. Um, this is the arc that I was telling you about concerning the last video on the Arctic shock, the polar explorer stunned. This is the Aleutian Island Arc, and as you can see, it's going all the way through Alaska, and obviously, uh, these, this is, these are volcanic subduction zone and volcanoes here, volcanic islands, and it could be that they also extend that way as we saw the crack. It's not showing up here, but there is a crack there. And for, this could be an undersea, uh, some kind of activity there as well. Now, let's go here. 
We'll go, we'll go into the West Coast late, later because we have a tremendous amount of things happening. Okay, here we are at Hawaii. Okay, I want to, okay. There you go, and let's go into Hali Mau Mau Pictures. This is what we read before. And now we're going into the monitoring. Okay. This is the big island. This is pulling up the earthquakes. And if we pull out, we'll see that we had 489 in the past 28 days. We did have we did have a few on. Uh, sorry. Okay, let's pull out. Maui. Okay, they didn't show, but we had one around here. Um, okay, let's go in now. We'll take care of this. This is the Pahala area, as you can see here. The Pahala area has the bigger quakes, 3.5, uh, 3.1. These are the bigger quakes that we've had compared to the other ones of Mauna Loa and Kilauea. Mauna Loa has been been classified yellow code August 18, if I remember correctly, August 18. It's been classified from green to yellow. Kilauea is green. Pahala has a tremendous amount of activity which is different from the shallow earthquakes, the very shallow earthquakes of Kilauea and Mauna Loa. Okay, you can see the depths are in miles here. This one here, 20 miles deep, 22 miles deep, 20 miles deep. And as we said before, they're towards the magma plume. All these deep quakes that you see here, all of them here, you can see the cross playing behind them as I pull up. All of these here, as you can see here, there, you can see them, <clears throat> okay? They all belong to Pahala. You can't see the cross because it's underneath, but you have so many earthquakes. Most of them, basic, basically half the earthquakes, belong to Pahala and towards the uh, Loihi Seamount, which is basically logical. Okay, that's basically the new activity that's going there. This island is growing, and you have the magma plume having more activity there. Okay. That's quite big. Pahala. All right. And now the deformation. The past two days. The past week. Tilt at Kilauea Summit and East Rift Zone. Past week. Oh, what's happened? I don't know what happened here, but it seems like uh, it really upticked on the 6th, 7th of September. What happened there? The blue line shows the radial tilt at Ueka Huna Station on the west rim of Kilauea's caldera. The green line is the radial tilt at Puo'o. Okay, that's, again, that's still going up. North of Puo Cone, these are recorded by continuously operating electronic tilt meters. Positive changes often indicate inflation of the magma storage areas beneath the caldera or Puo, but may also result from heavy rainfall or occasionally instrumental malfunction. We don't have a malfunction and we don't have heavy, heavy rainfall during the summer. And this, what happened there? Amazing. Okay, this is. October 2018 to August 2019. This is basically after the eruption ended, and you can see how it's still inflating. Really, really inflating. And this is, of course, 
October 2014 up to today, and we can see how it was slowly inflating until up to the eruption of uh, May, and how it deflated uh, in September, and this August, September, October, and it's still again building up, but it's building up, it seems, at a faster incline than this angle here. Okay, so here we are. Something must have happened there. That was a malfunction. This is the past year at Puo. Past five years, as you can see here. Okay. Changes in the distance between the two stations, a rapid increase can be interpreted as inflation of the magma reservoir at the summit. That's it. So we do have inflation of the magma reservoir. It's inflating because it is refilling. Positive changes indicate inflation of the magma storage areas beneath the caldera. Okay. Now let's go to... Okay, here we have the uh, SO2 levels at uh, Earth Law School. And we, here we are over Hawaii. Hawaii. Let's see if we have anything over this area where we had the, this is where we had the 6.2. Okay. Okay, let's go to Hawaii. East Rift Zone. Amazing amount of sulfur dioxide because of the earthquakes there. This is all, it is emitting gas and a tremendous amount of sulfur dioxide coming from there. Okay, these are volcanic emissions. Okay, let's go to um, carbon dioxide. We know that carbon dioxide is also emitted from um, volcanoes. Carbon monoxide. And this, of course, is being carried off by the currents. We also see some here and here. Amazing. After all, they are volcanic islands. Right? Okay. I'll leave links below for you for this. So we definitely see that we have a buildup of the magma. I don't know what happened here a couple of days ago. What happened here? But they say that these are records continuously operated electronic tilt meters. Positive changes often indicate inflation of magma storage areas under the caldera of Fu'o. That's it. We didn't have a malfunction of instruments and not heavy rainfall either. So you can see that it is building up again. And from what they say, yes, it will erupt, but you just don't know when. So we're keeping an eye out on this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.